हेलो दोस्तों मैं कन्हैया एक बार फिर से स्वागत करता हूं आप सभी का आपके अपने यूट्यूब चैनल इंग्लिश ज्ञान पे जहां पे आपको स्कूल कॉलेजेस एंड स्टडीज से जुड़ी टिप्स एंड अपडेट्स मिलती रहती है सो so, दोस्तों एज यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर डी यू बी एड एंट्रेंस एग्जाम सो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू अ लॉट इन योर प्रिपेशन बिकॉज एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू मैनी टाइम दैट एन बुक्स आर वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर preparing for डी यू बी एड एग्जाम सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अ लेसन फ्रॉम एन सी आर टीज बुक एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अ लेसन फ्रॉम साइंस नाइन्थ क्लास एन सी आर टी एंड दिस लेसन हैज अ वाइटल रोल इन द प्रिपेशन ऑफ डी यू बी एड बिकॉज दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड आई थिंक अ क्वेश्चन विल डेफिनेटली कम इन योर एग्जाम बिकॉज दिस lesson is very important about matters and how matters behave in our surrounding and you know we are all surrounded by the matters we have a kind of matters everywhere so this chapter is really very important to cover up so in this video i am going to clear all the concepts of matter because concept is really important as i have told you many times that if you are reading anything so read it with concept because concepts plays a vital role in your preparation and it also plays a vital role in your exam too because at the time of exam they only ask concept if your concept is clear you can clarify any exam you can you uh, know deal with any question so concepts are very important to cover so not wasting much time let's get to start this video and if you are new on this channel so you can subscribe our channel for getting more updates regarding dub ed entrance exam preparation and for getting all the updates from delhi university now let's get start this video so matter what is the matter matter is made up of particles as we all know if you know if you don't know so here you are going to know everything so matter is basically made up of particles and particles have its own physical nature like if we talk about its nature so particles of matter are continuously moving secondly particles of matter have space between them particles of matter attracts each other so these are the physical nature of a particle i hope you got it and i don't need to explain it more because it has a very simple language and it has a very simple explanation so i think it has cleared now move to state of matter so a state of matter we can divide into three parts solids liquids gases and all these three matters have their different attributes like if we talk about solid so solid has a fixed shape a definite shape then it has definite volume then it does not flow and the particles of solid shape are closely packed then it is incompressible like it does not flow here and there it does not have much uh, much space to move here and there the particles of solids are compressible like they are too close and too engaged with uh, each other so that's why they do not have flow in them now like if we talk about liquids so liquid does not have its shape if we put any liquid into any shape so it will turn into that shape so it does not have any shape then it has fixed volume but it does not have a fixed shape then it can flow as you all know particles are loosely packed they are not tightly packed they are loosely they have uh, enough space to move their particles then little compressible they are not tightly compressible they are little compressible for example water and milk now if we talk about gas so no it also does not have any kind of shape then it has no fixed volume it can flow like water but it does not have a fixed volume then particles are too loosely packed like the particle in gases they are too loose they are too far from each other and fifth point highly compressible we can compress its uh, particles very highly you know it has a it has a lot of space between two and all the particles so we can compress it and we will also discuss further that uh, if we compress any particle of uh, gas so how it turns into another thing okay so i think these are the things which are very clear now uh, now let's move to the another thing changes of state of matter so now changes occurs when we increase temperature or when we decrease temperature 
and there are also effects when we change its pressure so first thing we will discuss effect of change in temperature so when we change any temperature so two things occurs like increase in temperature so uh, any solid or any kind of matter can melt and evaporate if we have liquid so it will evaporate and if we have solid so it will melt secondly if we decrease the temperature then it will freeze if we have liquid so it can freeze and if we have vapor so it can change into liquid form it also happens when we change its pressure so like if we have vapor but we are changing its pressure so it will also change into liquid same as sublimation sublimation means the change of vapor into solid like we have vapor but it but it directly changes into solid so this is called sublimation like you have kapoor ke bare mein aap sabhi ne suna hoga so kapoor is an example of sublimation then condensation aapne badlon ko bante dekha hoga so this is the example of condensation freezing aapne water se barf jamte dekha dekha hoga to wo example hai freezing ka so theek hai then evaporation mein bhi aapne बॉइलिंग पॉइंट के बारे में पढ़ा होगा एंड फ्यूजन मेल्टिंग में मेल्टिंग पॉइंट के बारे में होगा तो मेल्टिंग एंड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट का यहाँ पे क्या रीजन है बॉइलिंग पॉइंट में आपसे सिंपली ये पूछा जा सकता है व्हाट इज द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ अ वाटर इन मेल्टिंग पॉइंट दे कैन आस्क यू वट इज द मेल्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ अ आइस सो दीज आर द टू थिंग्स विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट टू रिमेंबर ओके नाउ वी टॉक अबाउट फॉर द सब्लिमेशन द चेंज इज द चेंज of solid directly into gas or vapor it is called sublimation and it was the question which was asked in last jamia bead entrance exam i think yes this question was asked in jamia bead entrance exam so now maybe this year it can come in duba as well so you know all the things are important to learn no matter they are coming in entrance exam they are not because we don't know which question can come which can not come we can only predict that these are the important things which can come but we can not say exactly that this question will come we need to extend our learning we need to expand everything which are coming in our entrance exam so we need to learn everything okay so condensation you have understood sublimation you have understood freezing boiling point melting point and fusion melting and evaporation you have understood all these now let's talk about factors of effect affecting evaporation so factors are exposed surface surface area second increase in temperature third humidity and fourth is wind velocity if these are the factors uh, increased so your evaporation effects like एक्सपोज सरफेस एरिया जो आपका सरफेस एरिया अगर उसको हम बड़ा कर देते हैं तो जो आपके इवेपोरेशन होगी वो भी बढ़ जाएगी सेम इन सेकेंड इंक्रीज इन टेम्परेचर जब हम टेम्परेचर को इंक्रीज करते हैं तो आपका इवेपोरेशन ऑलरेडी बढ़ने लगता है थर्ड है आपका ह्यूमिडिटी जब आपकी ह्यूमिडिटी होती है लाइक like बाहर आप कि हवा में नमी है तो जो इवेपोरेशन है वो कम हो जाती है लाइक दिस ह्यूमिडिटी इफेक्ट्स इवेपोरेशन सेकंड फोर्थ है आपका विंड वेलोसिटी सो इफ वी हैव हाई विंड वेलोसिटी सो इट कैन इंक्रीज इवेपोरेशन रेट सो दीज आर द फोर्थ फैक्टर्स विच इफेक्ट्स इवेपोरेशन सो नाउ आई थिंक ऑल द पॉइंट्स आर क्लियर एंड आई हैव एक्सप्लेन एवरी so these are the basic things which you should know from this chapter and i think everything is cleared in this chapter and concepts are also cleared if still you have any doubt you can ask me in comment section i will be there and answering you for all your comments but yes your question should be genuine if you have genuine question and if you have genuine query then i can hear you and i can answer you but if you have if you are asking anything about any topic so i cannot help you in that but yes if you are asking for your preparation tips that what are the things which i can learn which i can study so in this we can i can help you but if we, you are asking about when we have when do we have exam date when admit cards are coming so i have already made some videos related 
to all these so you can go through that videos and so now thank you so much for watching this video and let's meet in another video in another video i will be telling you some more important topic uh, from where which questions can come so i am going to uh, end up this session here only now let's meet in another video in another concept so thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you are doing your preparation in a very well manner so that you can crack this gp entrance exam in a one way so bye bye have a nice day and strive it more for learning so that your all concepts can clear in one way and you can get a good result after entrance exam thank you so much have a nice day bye bye